इलेक्ट्रिकल संग्राम हिंदी फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ के आई टी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ऑटोनॉमस कोल्हापुर सो आई एम हियर टू टूडे टू डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स इन आवर इन आवर कंट्री इन इन इंडिया सो वाई वी हैव टू स्टडी दिस बिकॉज इट इज अ क्लीन एनर्जी न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इट इज अ क्लीन एनर्जी इवन इफ वेरी लेस क्वांटिटी ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज कमिंग इन आवर कंट्री यू कैन सी ऑन द दिस द प्रेजेंट सीनारियो वेरी हाई क्वांटिटी ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द कोल इलेवन परसेंट इज फ्रॉम द गैस ओनली वन परसेंट फ्रॉम द ऑयल हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट्स इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी इज द एट परसेंट बट वाई वी शुड गो फॉर द एंड ओनली थ्री परसेंट इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट सो वाई वी हैव टू गो फॉर द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट बिकॉज it is a green or it is not a green but we can say very less pollutant very less quantity of pollution is coming from the nuclear power plant even if the coal is the major total uh, power which is coming from the uh, coal power plant is 2 lakh 9000 megawatt so you can uh, think that how much pollution which is coming from the thermal power plants so very less quantity of uh, pollution is coming from the nuclear power plant so that we have to switch over to the Uh, nuclear power plant there is a uh, we can uh, think about the nuclear power plant so some names uh, which are uh, the reactors are available in our country like kaiga is there then uh, we can say the tarapur this is the first power plant which is introduced in our country it is a bwr two reactors we are introducing in 1967 so this is the we can say nuclear power plant you can see this is the major components of this is the reactor is there then uh, we can say control rods moderator which are we are using in that generally the fission process which is carried out in the reactor and very high quantity of heat is liberated then water is circulated as a coolant which is heated and this water is converted into the steam which is going to the steam turbine power plant and again we are generating the steam here uh, power here in the steam turbine power plant so this is the working of any uh, nuclear power plant we can see This is the one uh, example of this. It is a boiling water reactor. It is a BWR generally. In boiling water reactor, the water is circulated continuously. The control rods are there. Then moderator is there. Generally, control rods we are using the uranium and thorium. It is the basic uh, we can say uh, in that uh, fuel we are using uranium, which is not much available in our country, but we have to rely on China and Russia. you can see what is the major problem with this uranium is there if you are taken one kg of uranium almost only 0.7 to 0.8 gram we can convert as a fuel after purifying it remaining is the waste so this waste disposal is a, uh, disposal is the major problem in front of us okay then this fuel we are using in the reaction in the reactor uh, in that particular reaction very high quantity of heat is liberated which is given to the water and this water is get converted into the steam but generally you can see in that there are control rods we are using what is the function of control rod to control the reaction isn't it we have to control the reaction the control rods will be absorb the neutrons uh, after fission process so that we can control number of neutrons will be reduced so that the uh, reaction process or fission process can be controlled otherwise it will be uncontrollable and it becomes like a nuclear bomb isn't it so control rods are required to control the reaction the boron is the good uh, we can say control uh, the material for the control rod moderator is there to moderate the reaction means speed of the neutron will be reduced by the moderator generally moderators again there is some of material we are using as a moderator where you can see this is the pressurized water reactor here again same uh, moderator is required in that control rod are required but what is the difference between bwr and uh, Uh, pwr pressurized water reactor there is a pressure vessel you can see the pressure vessel in that uh, diagram what is the function of this always we are what is the water which is circulated inside the uh, pwr or in the reactor it is a pressurized it is a high pressure which is uh, maintained on the water so what happens the boiling point will be increase if you increase the pressure on the uh, water the boiling point will be increase so same water with even if the high temperature is there in the liquid form you can circulate so volume will be reduced and uh, it is very easy to circulate the water as compared to the steam or gas so what is the water even if the temperature we are raising the the uh, the water will be remains in the liquid form which is very easily uh, easy to handle 
So, as compared to the BWR, the we can say the size of the reactor is very less as compared to the BWR. And this water uh, the, is uh, converted into the, there is a, again one heat exchanger we are using to heat the water, is not it? And what is the water which is circulated in the reactor, it is going to the heat exchanger, it will be give the heat to the another water and this water get uh, converted into the steam which we are using in the steam turbine power plant. So, this is the PWR. So, this is the Kandu reactor. What is the comparison with the PHWR or PWR with the Kandu reactor? This is the canadium, uh, deuterium, uranium uh, uh, pressurized heavy water reactor. So, deuterium generally we are uh, saying as it is a uh, heavy water. So, why heavy water? The heavy water will be re uh, replace the uh, we can say moderator. In the Kandu reactor, we are not using the moderator like PWR and BWR. Uh, the function of the moderator is done by the water, also the water acts as a coolant. So, uh, the size can be reduced in that case. So, number of advantages of Kandu reactor in number of uh, power plants in our country also in India, we are using this Kandu, Kandu reactor. Then this is the fast breeder reactor, it is new technology which is not coming now. It is uh, nowadays uh, in other countries we are using it, fast breeder reactor is uh, one good, uh, it, what is the advantage of fast breeder reactor? What is the waste disposal? We already discussed very major problem in our uh, nuclear power plant is the waste disposal. But in fast breeder reactor, no waste, the same waste we can utilize as a fuel. So, very less quantity of waste will be remains after reaction in the fast breeder reactor. What is the waste is there again and again we are utilizing as a fuel in that. Okay, So, uh, the fast breeder reactor having the more advantage as compared to the last three, it is a PWR, Kandu reactor and BWR. This we already seen what is the function of control rods. So, boron, boron is there, cadmium is there, these are the some names of the control rod we already discussed. This is the moderator, generally nowadays pressure in PWR and BWR the moderators are uh, utilized, but nowadays uh, in Kandu reactor we are using as a uh, heavy water as a moderator. So, major disaster, why we are not going to this, uh, uh, we can say the society is not accepting this nuclear power plants because these are the disaster we can say. Chernobyl is there, Fukushima is there. So, these are the major disasters so that uh, society is not, uh, we can see in the, to accept this particular. So, Jaitapur is the one power plant you can see, so, we are trying to introduce one. Uh, what is the capacity of this uh, Jaitapur power plant? 9009. Uh, 900, you can say about 10,000 megawatt which is coming from this. If you see the Koina power plant, it is coming about 2,000 megawatt we are generating from the Koina power plant, but 10,000 megawatt power which is coming from the Jaitapur nuclear power plant in very less area as compared to the Koina also. But again, there is a problem, society is not uh, accepting this power plant due to this uh, disaster which happened uh, in other countries also. So, this is the present scenario we can say about the nuclear power plant which we have to discuss.